Once you've installed and activated Gradebook, you will see a quick start guide, which will walk you through the basics of Gradebook. If you'd prefer to skip this step, simply click Dismiss. A message will appear at the top of the screen informing you to update the database. This will need to be completed before you can start building your gradebooks. This is a simple process and just requires you to click Upgrade. As always, we recommend that you make a full backup of your site before making any changes like this. So once you've completed the backup, simply click Upgrade. Before creating your first gradebook, go to Settings to set up your global settings. Gradebook will have default settings in place, so you are able to skip this step. However, reviewing the settings and making adjustments is always a wise decision. Here, you can set the general settings, such as using the best or most recent quiz grade, or whether you wish to round up, down, or to the closest. You can also set specific features, like disabling manual grading or component grade override. Take a moment to go through each of the setting options. Next, we have roles. This is where you can set who can view the gradebook and who can create and edit their own gradebook. And lastly, we have styles. Under styles, you can set the letter grade scale and the grade color scale. For more detailed information on all the available settings, please check out our support documentation. Once you've set all of the global settings, you're ready to create your first gradebook.